In this tutorial, we will be showing you how to synchronize your notes between Obsidian Mobile and your PC. So the first thing you want to do is to go ahead to your Play Store or your App Store and download Folder Sync. As you can see, I have my Folder Sync here, so I'm going to open it. And if you're installing Folder Sync for the first time, you might be having some other uh, messages which you can confirm just because it's the first time. And then you're going to find yourself here. At the bottom of your dashboard, you have about five options here. You're going to click on the three dashes, which looks like a hamburger menu at the bottom right corner, like so. Here you have permissions, so we're going to grant it permissions. And you're granting it permissions for your files. So we're going to click on it. It's going to take you here. You simply toggle it on. You go back. And now it's green, and that's fine. We're going to go back again. And then we're going to click on the button here, which is at the bottom left corner this time which is actually the main dashboard. The next thing we need to do is to create a folder pair, as you can see here, and then we're going to give it a name. You're going to have these two options. You can choose the second one, Synchronize Engine V2. And then for the three options here, you want to select the two-way connection. So we're going to do it that way. And then here you have the left folder and you have the right folder. Now, remember we chose a two-way connection. That is because we want to synchronize between our mobile device and our PC. So in this left folder, this will be for your mobile device. And in this folder, that is where we're going to connect our Google Drive. You can see your SD card here. All we need to do is to select a folder. So we're going to go to Documents, and then we're going to create a new folder. Here, you have the plus icon for a new folder. So we're going to click on it and give it a name. We're going to call it bridge. And there we have it. We're going to click on it so it can reflect here. And then we're going to select it with this button at the bottom right. And there you have it now. It is selected as a folder we want to have for our mobile device. And then in the right folder, we will be selecting a cloud drive where we can have this files to be synchronizing between themselves. So we're going to select the SD card because we want to change it. And then it's going to ask us to add an account. So for this, we're going to be using Google Drive. You're going to choose the Google Drive account you will be using. And now you can see that the Google Drive account is now linked to this file synchronize app. And that's good. And that's why we have the unlink account because we have actually linked it. So we're going to go back by sliding backwards. And then we're going to select the SD card again. And now we have our Google Drive initialized. We're going to select Google Drive. And then in our Google Drive, we're going to go ahead and select a folder. So we have something like a path. So I have a folder already for this. I call it the Z Obsidian folder. So you can do this by clicking the add folder here and you can create a folder and this automatically creates a folder in your Google Drive because currently we're in our Google Drive and now we're in this folder we can click on select and then these are the folders which will be synchronizing we have the folder in your local storage for your mobile device and we have a folder in our Google Drive so any file we save here from our obsidian we're also going to have it here in our Google Drive, and in turn, whatever other device we'll be using, which is connected to this Google Drive, will have the same file, which we saved from our Obsidian into this folder. So to make it simple, we will be saving our Obsidian files here, and it's going to synchronize with this cloud folder, and in whatever device you have, which has access to this folder, will have access to this files, which will be holding your Obsidian files. So now we're going to click on Next, and you can see the summary of everything here. Very good. Now we can see our synchronized files. Now the next thing we need to do is to select scheduling. So nothing has been scheduled yet. We're going to click on plus for the schedule. I'm going to name this a schedule. It's just a placeholder for our schedule. So we're going to have it as so, daily files, and we can set it for daily synchronization interval. And the next thing, of course, is to set the sync interval to daily and we can save it. And now that we have this set up, we're going to go to our Obsidian mobile app and we're going to open it. And here we have to create a new vault and we're going to name this vault test vault. And we're going to be choosing our vault location. And this is where our previous setup was very important. So we're going to click on choose and remember the path where we had bridge. So we will be selecting bridge. Of course, there are no items here for now. So we're going to say, use this folder. And it says, allow Obsidian to access files. And we will allow this. And then we can create. And we're going to create a new note. So of course, we just made this. And we're going to have this in this vault. And we can, of course, add any other thing we want to add here. 
and this is a test. The file is expected to be in our bridge, which is also going to be in our Google Drive. But before we go to check that, we're going to go back to our folder sync and we're going to activate the synchronization. Of course, because we said daily synchronization, we have to wait for 24 hours, but because we want to show you this, we're going to do this right now. So all we need to do is to click on the sync right here and it's going to say sync files normally on any available network. So I'm going to click on that and then it is syncing. And after it's synchronized, it's going to show green. And now that it's showing the green, that is a good sign that we now have synchronization. All we need to do now is to go to our Google Drive, say on any other device. And now would you look at that? This is our Google Drive, as you can see here, and we are in the Z Obsidian folder. And now if we click on the test vault, which is the same vault we created, you can see this is a test right here in our Google Drive. So this is how to create a synchronization between what is on our Obsidian mobile to also be on our PC.